All right, we're going to add a star to the preview now. There's two ways to add a star. You can either just add it directly um, without pre-selecting elements, or you can pre-select elements and then add the star, and it'll automatically link them. So to just add a star, you just click it and draw it. And then you'll see your options over here. Um, we're going to delete that. And we will add a star now. We'll pre-select the star. You can see here there's multiple elements in the star. We're going to select the main star. We're going to select the icon on the toolbar here. Draw our star in the window. And you can see it's pink. And it turns white. The pink means that it's it's um, adding all of the elements from here and it's pre-linking them to the star. A star, the first element in a star is on the right hand point. So right here is the first element. And then it goes around clockwise and numbers each element along the path of the star. Down here on the left you can see different properties for the star. There's the position. The bottom right position is right here. The top left is right here. You can change these manually right here if you want, if you need to get accurate positioning. You can also select your star and use the arrow keys to move the star around the page. Um, now we'll get down to our settings here. Okay, the first setting, I mean this is simple. So the light size of the star, you can see if you change it, the, the lights get bigger. You can make it smaller, the lights get smaller. Um, light count, so it's the outside light count. I can set that. Let's set it to 100. You can see it adds as many as you want. And let's add 99 here. Now you can see it changed your light count to 90. That's because each point here in the star has the same number of lights. And you can't divide 99 by, what do we have here, 5 points. So it rounds it down to 90. So your the the lights have to be a multiple of the star points. Um, the inside size is a percentage of the diameter. So this is the outside diameter here. All these points touch the outside diameter. This would be 40 percent of the outside diameter is the inner diameter right here. And you know it it, it doesn't really need, matter if you know that or calculate it precisely, just just change it until it looks right. You know. So you can set that whatever you need to so it looks right. Um, the star points. Those are the number of points on the outside of the star here. Right now there's five, we'll put ten, we'll put four, uh, three, five, six, so you can have as many star points as you want. And the last thing is uh, string type. There's pixel. Since I selected the star here and there were multiple elements in, in there, it automatically added 50 elements. And there's 90 because we changed it to 90, but it automatically added 50. Uh, we can change this to a standard type and this star now will be a single uh, light string, so it'll be a single element. And I think that's about it for stars.